What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are in studio. We are in studio. This, you're like, wow, their audio doesn't sound like a flaming potato. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> sound like we're stuck in a tractor. No, like we filmed it on, or like we did the audio, pulled it from a Motorola while we were playing Snake. <laughs> That's what it does not sound like. It right doesn't now. sound like that. It's a little echoey, but uh, that's probably good. It's way better than a then, lawnmower. Than I'll, me mowing my yard or working out or looking for shoes at the mall. Like every store I went in, it was playing like medium, like appropriate rap music. Champs got a little wally, but you know, I could champs. see that. I could see that. The, the, the little, champs, little edgy. It's like in the NBA parades, there's always somebody who yells a curse word. That's true, and it's because they're the champs. That's why champs has more curse words in their music. And have you ever noticed in games where there's like there's so apparently in live TV there's a three second delay so that they can bleep out curse words. Yeah. So, But a lot of times in the NBA, no. they don't catch they it. They don't catch it. And then they'll bleep like three seconds later. Yeah. Just a, a blank piece is. of air. Yeah. Um, do you know who Chase Udley is? I don't. Baseball Who's... player. He played second base for the Phillies for like a decade. Okay. And he was there in 2008 when they won the World Series. Well, I was at a Phillies game. Whenever they You're wearing were wearing a Phillies hat, I'm wearing a Phillies hat in honor of this of reference. Chase I won or Chase Utley. Okay, and they gave out bobbleheads. It's right there. You see it on my desk. I see Chase. He's Utley. wearing like a, a toboggan. He's got a yeah. mic. They put they gave out bobbleheads because his memorable thing, the second baseman of their team that won the World Series, his memorable thing was at the parade. He said, "We're champions," and he paused. And he goes, he, "He no." He goes, "He goes, we're world champions." He paused. He goes. We're world blanking champions. And he said it. He said the big Level one. five curse word. And he said it out loud. And, and now he's known for that. And he wow. did not say it in his little retire my jersey speech. But, yeah, you know, it was a good night. I got to see Mac from uh, Sunny. Let's get to the NBA free agency. Okay. That's, free that's agency. on me. I'm so sorry. Okay. I got excited about the it's okay. Chase Utley. I knew oh. that that was Chipper Jones. Yeah. It was uh, I bought that for uh, 25 cents at a yard sale. And now it's on a podcast. And still, now it's on a podcast. We're, we're still not on an NBA audio free podcast. We're talking about baseball bobbleheads. It's so, July third. July third, currently, and it is. We're knee deep into free agency. It started yep. June thirtieth. June at 30th. six p.m. We were going to record at like twelve thirty that night, <laughs> but you had been traveling and slept like two hours, and then the next day, I was a. Uh, I wasn't feeling well. And then not, yesterday, not neither so of us well. even reached out. And now yeah, here true. we are. And now here we are. But we're in studio. We're though. in studio. So that's it was worth the magic it. magic of it. Yeah, because people will listen to maybe more than four seconds of this. That's true. Of the people that we still have around. And I'll go, why are they in a helicopter? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> why are they skydiving? What do you think about Kyrie in a black jersey? Michael Jordan. Hey, by the way. The goat. Can, can we say uh, there's two big dibs I called on okay. free agency that I want to take credit for? Okay. One, Kyrie looks good in black. You called it. I did call it. He has that black Boston jersey. I don't remember that. So maybe it, we named it. It was the title of one of our. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember our picks in it. I remember picking yeah. them. I just don't remember what. Yeah, I don't remember each of us picked. I don't remember either. Maybe we can we, chop this ah, up. There's no way to find out at this point. Nope. I'm pretty sure we got them all right. We're, we have an NBA podcast. I know podcast. I got Jimmy Butler right, which was. Yeah. We said Heat? You did. I did. I didn't say the Heat. Yeah, and you giggled at me. I did. Like, I was like, <laughs> Where why would he go there? He wants stuff. to win. I was so Cy, lot, He wants though. to be the dude, and he wants to ha- go there where people have abs. True. Um, I, you know what my big get was? J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick. Called the J.J. Reddick to New York. Now, I did you think did. he was going to go with Al Horford, but it turns out they did a little swap if you will. And Shout Horford, out to J.J. Reddick for also doing a podcast. Yeah, J.J. Reddick. Have you listened to it? I haven't. Here, I hear, I got a problem with J.J. Reddick. Let oh, me no. explain. Why? Um, he's incredible at basketball. Uh-huh. He's good looking. Yep, awful. He good. also is funny. Yeah, good tattoo choices, too. Great tattoo choices. Four, four to four. Just slow down, man. We mm-hmm. get it. Can't have it all, Dookie. Jeez. Fun fact: When I was in, I was a junior. No, 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 I was a senior, I think, in high school when he was at Duke. And you know, he was known for just getting buckets, so many hitting buckets. threes. And so I was not known for getting buckets. I was right. known for either driving and trying to make a layup or passing to the tallest guy on our team. Yep. And then just play really hard defense, Tyler, because you have no hand skills. Um, and so what I would do was whenever I did shoot to like. Let people know I was kind of not taking it serious, even though I was really trying to make it. I would go, JJ Reddick! And I would <laughs> shoot it from like Steph Curry range. This is pre Steph Curry. He was like in eighth grade. Right. And so uh, 
Oh my goodness. He was in You're eighth realizing grade. Right I, when now, I was a senior, Steph was in eighth grade. I just, y'all can't see this because we're not on video yet. 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 We are on YouTube, but, but it's just all I just saw 15 years of <laughs> of just just age over Tyler's face. He yeah. Tyler number two. I don't like to call him that, but Tyler, I'm Tyler number two, and it's official. You can't go back. Official. No take backs. Um, I I have officially been out of high school as long as I was alive to graduate high school. That's what I was trying to say. It's terrible. So midlife. That's crisis. the look that I saw on his face. Okay, free agency, free agency. shall we? So should we start with Brooklyn? Let's start. Well, let's start with winners and losers. Okay, that's what I want to talk right now. Pretty much the only person we're waiting on is Kawhi. Right now, the only person that is waiting on everybody else is Boogie. He's waiting on somebody to pick him. I think we got like Marcus Morris somewhere in there. Right. Um, some no namers. Uh, Jeff Dan, Green got picked up. Dan Marley. Dan Marley. <laughs> yeah, Dead Left Shrimp, and then uh, John Sean Raphael. Kemp. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. They're still waiting. They have not declared yet. Uh, Joe Johnson's in the big three, just destroying people. Big difference being one year out of the league versus like yeah. eighteen years. Kobe dropped forty five yesterday in the Drew League. How about that? Kobe? Kobe. He played in the Drew League. Kobe. No, yeah, didn't. I think he did it for like one game. No, he didn't. Yes. He did not play in the yeah. Drew League. I'm going to call We can look it up. Ah, there's no way to tell. Maybe we will. <laughs> we hit it on that podcast that That's I did true. while I was running or something. <laughs> so dumb. Um, um, so so, so the big win- let's start with big winners. Who's the big winner for you? NBA is cool podcast. Um, this is a good place to start. If you're if you're wondering, so yeah. Maybe, if you're wanting to know when to jump in, this is where we're right. talking about the NBA. So who I think uh, I think there were a lot of winners. I really can't think of any losers. Actually, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it the other day. Every I feel like so many teams did really really well. Mm-hmm. Nobody like really did terrible. Um, the the first team that comes to mind that who was terrible was the Suns. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they didn't even prep well. Like they didn't even clear space to get D'Lo, who kind of wanted to go there. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh no, we're gonna make some trades right here," and they pick up some weird picks in the draft. At yeah. And so if you're Phoenix and you just even hear a whisper that D'Lo wants to come there, you go, "Okay, no, 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 let's screw that up real quick." Yep. Yeah, but it's like nobody talks about how terrible they are because like the the Knicks are more popular That's and they've true. been terrible at and it. They've so. been terrible. They so. Drafted, they have four forwards on their team yeah. right now. Yeah, they got a old Arkansas Razorback alum. Right. So him and I are both alum. He didn't graduate. I right. did. Okay. So it's like we're both, like we're pretty much bros. What you're saying is you're better than My him, name's right? on the sidewalk and he's making like 30 <laughs> mil over three years. So let's let's not declare winners and losers okay. here. Out of me and okay. him, let's talk about winners and losers for teams. Okay. I think um, the big losers are the Knicks. That's my. Opinion. I know the Suns. Okay. They're just. A, they're just a cluster. They're not. Right. They're not doing great. But it's not like they were competing for first. The Knicks are. But the Knicks. We could do a whole podcast on poor choices the Knicks have made over the past two decades. It's like it's ever since really they lost. Simple. Like what was it? Uh, was Carl Malone the mailman? No, no, no. No, Patrick, Patrick Ewing. King. Sorry, I get those two mixed yeah, up. He missed a finger roll. Yeah. To go to the finals. Man, that'll happen. What a. You know, there's some tip backs. He could have dunked it. He I don't know why. Dunked. Why I didn't dunk it. I don't know. Anyway, we just get rid of the owner. Mm-hmm. If you're James Dolan, if you're anywhere near the Knicks organization, yeah. like it's it's if you're James Dolan, just oh get rid my of yourself. Gosh, so like bad. how can you not? How can you not get a big free agent? People literally like Madison Square Garden is the kind of place where like the greatest players in the league post Instagram pictures about how much they love playing there. Yeah, and you got some like Melo's like the only one that's wanted to go there, or who ever, did? And, who did go there in yeah. like twenty years? Yeah, and people want to bash Melo, but like he tried, right? And he nobody else try. wants because it's like, that. like it's the thing is these guys want to play for good ownership. They yeah. want to play for people that they can enjoy, like they can trust, like they can have their back. Like KD when he had that burner account, he was talking about how like ownership like didn't back it up. He didn't want to fan of the coach, right. all that stuff, and. He he cares about good ownership. He knows it's important. Like he was with pretty decent, like above average ownership, and he wasn't happy. Yeah, he true. went to great ownership, and now he's switching over to Rockefeller Records or whatever. Rockefeller. We get down uh, with it. We get uh, down with it. Uh, girls, the girls that love us, uh, stay fresh. The best, best nonetheless. I can't remember the whole song. It's been like tw- seventeen years. We uh, discussed that. Uh, um. So would you say who's your big loser? Biggest loser. I'm still gonna say the Suns. Okay. They did. They did a... Sunsies. They, they, they just did a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. 
Devin Booker's gone. Like the next chance, I know he re-signed for like four or five years. If they don't trade him for assets in like two or three years, he's gonna leave just because he wants to. Like he knows his legacy is not one eighty point game when you lose every game in the season. Yeah, it's like your legacy is getting rings, and right. he's just like, no, nah, I'm gonna go play with D'Lo and the Warriors and, yeah. and aging Steph in five right. years. Also, um, yeah, I mean the Knicks. The Knicks are an easy call, but I, I say they have four forwards. But if if LA gets another loser would be uh definitely Charlotte. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well they got Terry Rogier. That's scary true. Terry Rowe. That's, he's scary. Yeah, because that, that scary he, how good he thinks he is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um also They got rid of Frank the Tank. Wait, though. hold on. We I'm sorry if you're just now tuning in. We've rambled our way into worst. I'm gonna call out the Washington Wizards right now. Man, they what picked you, up the players that allowed the Lakers to get a max contract what and you, ruin the league with the What are the you doing? Like, are the they're, Lakers paying them under the table? The Wizards? No, no, no. No, the Wizards, okay, so there's one of the players, there were like two or three players they got out of that three-team, the Pelicans-Lakers deal. I can't remember the player's name, but they tried to get him like six, eight months before that. Like, they wanted him. They legit wanted him for their team. Now, they picked up IT4. I think IT4 is not bad. Mm. Um, I think he's still got a lot of gas in the tank, and he's got a lot to prove. I know he didn't shoot well those few games he played for Denver, and then they just benched him. But he's like the most clutch dude they had on their team, and they're not playing him in game seven. And so it's like um, I think he's going to come out with something to prove. John Wall, worst contract in the NBA. Uh, I think it might be. It is. There's no question. Also, people don't talk about the Chris Paul contract enough. That's the second it's, worst it's contract. Terrible. Yeah, he's going to be like right around 85 years old whenever that contract <laughs> ends. <laughs> He's gonna end it and like just like move straight into a nurse and him. And I say that he's like younger than me. Actually, we're no, the same I mean, age. We're the same age. But I'm on keto, so I've lost a lot of weight. Right. So he I'm really ready not. to go in. Coaches, if you need me, free agency still open. I can move better than Boogie. He's taller. You got good ankles. He can shoot better. My ankles are decent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My cardio's not great. Your cardio's excellent. Yeah, well, I just lost 15 pounds. I bet I can touch rim. So they they just did some weird stuff. The Suns did some weird stuff, but maybe some more optimistic. Maybe we can okay. be a little more optimistic. Who's, who's, okay, yeah, so let's go with uh, biggest winners. Uh, well, the biggest fish is is still in the sea. So yeah, I think it, I think it, it does depend on him, which um, which is fine. We let's can go, get to let's that go pretend no qua. Yeah. Okay. Because we don't have him yet. We have, well, I know he's going to the Lakers. But you yeah, do definitely. know that. I know for I sure. I have a hunch that he's going to Toronto. Okay. But um, I, I, it's hard to say that there's a top three player to move into a new city and them not win. So you definitely... Well, there is. It's Kyrie. Brooklyn. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because he's going to not win because he's not going to play this year. But right. then after this year, the Nets are going to be top three in their division. Yes. Well, that and that's the other thing. If Kawhi moves out, the East is wide open. Well, I don't know. I would say that's Giannis, where I was going to lead in my... Giannis is better? I mean, Giannis, if he's got another gear, he, which I think he's going to work on his shooting, his outside shooting, because he can open up his three-point game. Yeah, you're they can't all in clog four people. I think he's going to do it. You're all in on Giannis in the three-point He's going to do it. Yeah. Brooke, if Brooke Lopez can do it... I don't have any Brock, Is it Brooke or Brock? Brock? It's not Brooke. That's Brooke. a girl's name. Brooke. No, it's Brooke. Is it? Yeah. Brooke from One Tree Hill. You're yes. telling me there's an E at the end. No, I'm just yes. um, I like him and his brother partnering up, by the way. They're both underrated. Brooke and Robin? Brooke and Robin. I think both girl names. Wow. And also, also same initials as Batman and Robin. That's true. So, That's true. I think and their moms them, are onto something. One of them looks like a caveman. I'm not sure. He one. is. He Brooke? looks like the guy's so okay. Man. No, that's Robin. It's Robin. Robin. Brooks yeah. the one that started. He was like, a, he would shoot like three threes a year, and now he's hitting now like he's hitting five on, threes a game. Yeah, and so if he can do that, yes, Giannis, Giannis who works can. like 15 hours a day, at, like he's going to be able to do it. Like as many hours as Ricky Rubio doesn't work in the offseason, swap it. And that's Speaking what? of Ricky Rubio. Going to the Suns. The Suns, huh? Yeah. Is that biggest, where he ended up? Yeah, it is. I'm How pretty sure. That? Yeah, he's definitely um, going to turn that organization around. So that that's something. Yeah. Um, I think biggest winners, in my opinion, 76ers. I think they've got the East right now. Oh. I think they lost Redick, who, I mean, he had a rough playoffs, but he, I think he was a good presence. I think he's perfect for the Pelicans. Um, but they lost JB, Jimmy Butler. However, Jimmy Butler 
I think that one Ben Simmons relied on him too much. The team relied on him too much. He's he's a little hostile. He didn't you know always see eye to eye with the coach. I think you've got Horford, who's just like a calm veteran presence, um, and I think he's gonna be able to complement and bead. I mean, they've just got a strong team. They signed Tobias back. If he comes in and does well, which he didn't do well in the playoffs either. Sure. Um, but then again, everything elevates. It was his first taste of that like, right. level of competition. I think the 76ers, number one team in the East. I, I would oh, say wow. they're a winner. After they lost Jimmy Butler. Yeah, but they gained Horford. Have you seen Horford? Yeah, he's about 90 years old. I think. Yeah, yeah, but he's a good 90. Well, here's, he's like your grandpa who can still kind of move a little on the court. Here's the thing. They got rid of a negative attitude yep. in a great player, and they got uh, a player who has played out of his position his entire career. Yeah. So he plays a center, but really he's probably a forward yeah. that can handle like yeah. crazy. Al Horford's a decent player, but moving him into uh, a place where he can can play right beside Joel Embiid, it's going to be yeah. fun to watch. Uh, but... You're moving a negative guy, and I'm the biggest Jimmy Butler fan. You're not going to find a bigger – well, maybe Pat Riley. But sure. um, I love Jimmy Butler, but he brings so much negativity to a team. Yeah. And they got the opposite of that. They got a, a super good locker room dude. Yep. And um, so I, I think, yeah, I mean, they, they won on that end. But I think on the court, man, it's it's hard to lose a guy like Jimmy Butler. Yeah, but here's the thing, too. Think of the people that gave Embiid the most trouble last year in the East. It was like Kawhi's shot. At the Kawhi, end. <laughs> yeah. Well, just yeah, the four bouncer. The Jeez. I call it the Air Bud ending. Um, and so I, I mean, Horford's the one that locked down Embiid, and you're like, oh wow, he was really hard to get through. Let's just get him on our team. That way, you can't stop Embiid yeah, anymore. I remember, I remember thinking like how old he was, how old Horford was, and just banging into Joel Embiid. Dude, he is so and good like, on D. What in the world, man? That has to take such a toll yeah. on your body. Well, and also Embiid, his body is not really like, it's never really held up. Like, he had to sit yeah. out some game. You know what Fuck. I mean? Like, he's just always had, like, health issues. Funny dude. He had, like, the Embiid. belly troubles, the tummy yeah. troubles. And so you got Horford to step in as a big guy if he's out. So I, I'd say the 76ers came up big. Um, I think, you know, Brooklyn. I think I mean obviously Brooklyn not next year but the year after yeah they're gonna have because they got a lot of strong young guys they do with the fro that like literally blocked everybody like you know what I'm talking about he's like Ben he's, Wallace no it looks like Ben like a thin athletic <laughs> Ben Wallace who is like he's blocked LeBron he's blocked Giannis he blocked like everybody in the league um, was it Allen good. was that his name Jared Allen was that we're his doing name? really good right now we're so good at basketball podcasts <laughs> I think it's Jared Allen that I sounds right a lot of good young guys you got to think this too next year. Really, all they lost was D'Lo, as far as like like their big loss for the Brooklyn. And you're swapping him out with Kyrie. Now, Kyrie's had more medical stuff than D'Lo, but if he can stay healthy, you'd think going from Ky- D'Lo to Kyrie would be an upgrade. Right. But then again, you also thought going from IT4 to Kyrie would be an upgrade, but instead he was, you know, That's so poison weird. on that team. That's Which so weird. He, just, he destroyed the Cavs with his kind of weirdness and then destroyed right. the Celtics. Also, I think Celtics upgraded. I mean, I know they need a big man. Well, they got Cantor, so they've got a big man. Right. Um, well, they they were really trying to uh, to trade for Adams. Mm-hmm. They were they were trying to give up a lot. I think they just got rid of Gordon Hayward. Uh, no, they didn't. Uh, no, they still got they, Hayward. They've kept him. Okay. Yeah, which I think they're going to do better because Kimba can play off ball and Hayward can run the offense. There's so much going on right now in the NBA. There's a ton. I love it. It. it this is how it should be. All the time. All the time. Like, I wish we could trade all the way into the finals. Like, I wish yes. the Warriors could have been like, Katie's hurt, game five, he wants out. Game six, you know what, we're swapping in the nets for D'Lo now. And they just swap him out in game six. That would have been convenient. Clay goes down at halftime. All right, Clay, uh, we're Sorry. dropping Clay. We're picking up, we're Jimmy, picking Butler. up Jimmy Butler. <laughs> JB, get Same in here at halftime. That um, would have been convenient. Kobe's in the G League. Get him up here. Get him up. For the finals. He would only play in the finals. If he could only play in the finals, he would play for another 20 years. Yeah, he'd be terrible, but <laughs> he would play. Terrible. He would do it and never pass. Not once. I love my favorite clip is Ron Artest being like, Kobe, pass me the ball! Whenever That's he made funny. that three. That was good. Okay, so let's look through. Kevin Durant, do you like his move to the Nets? Um, If I was him, I would have stayed. Yeah, I would have stayed too. with the Warriors. Why would you uh, pick Kyrie over Steph Curry? <laughs> Why in the world... Would you do that? Uh, I, He's my friend. I like the way he plays. 
I guess it's more of a it's more of a him wanting to be the alpha guy. And apparently, yeah. I read this thing today talking about how I know we're probably supposed to cite our sources, but no, it's okay. They're not listening. Um, that nobody's listening. Um, well, the real Taylor Jacks is. We we see you, Taylor. What up, TJ? What up, TJ? We like you, bro. Um, I read a thing where he didn't get along with her, and that yeah, really surprised that. me. I saw the headline. I didn't read it because I was like, right. "This is trash." This You're is not, not reading that. I'm not reading that. Um, but he didn't. Their their personalities didn't mesh, and that's fine. I'm not sure that he's gonna mesh well with Vladimir Putin either. Um, Why is he going to Russia? Well, they have a Russian owner, and oh, every okay, billionaire okay. that I know will is always be Vladimir, Vladimir Putin, Putin, as they all should. Right. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. I don't. I think honestly, like you. But think you have Clay, Steph, and, Draymond, and D'Lo. And we got Looney back. I don't think they would have had. They wouldn't have had D'Lo if it wouldn't have traded. It would, oh, you're talking about? With, I'm talking about if he would if stay. If Katie would stay, yes. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't, and, and that's the thing. I think Katie left for the media. He thought everybody would chill after that first year. They win the title. Shut up. We got a ring. People didn't chill. You know yeah. what I mean? They kept saying, "Oh, you went to a team." Like the team is not the same. Yeah. The one thing that made the Warriors so good going seventy three and nine was they had depth. Yeah. They got rid of all that depth to get KD. And so you you think like you go from a seven eight nine man roster that's quality, and you get rid of six of them. Five. Let's say that four five, over half of them. Four or five of them to get KD. Right. You don't have the depth, and we yeah. saw it when they started dropping like flies in the finals. When you put all your like when you're the Lakers and you literally only have three players, well they just signed Jared Dudley, so they're all set. <laughs> they got that big free agent they needed. He was funny for Brooklyn in the he, uh, in the playoffs. Well, he is a six eight forward from San Diego, just like Kawhi. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's what they they do. He's our Kawhi care. backup. Nobody cares. Um, <laughs> they're the same guy. I've always said it. Oh, Dudley, <laughs> Kawhi Leonard, same thing. <laughs> One in the same uh, Z's. Um, Utah has has made some excellent. Goodness, moves. Utah are they the best team right now in the West? No, but I had to think about it. Yeah, who's the best team in the West right now as it stands? Don't say where Kawhi goes. I think I think it's I think it's still Golden State. You think Golden State's the best team right now in the yeah, West? Yeah, I do without um, Clay. Yeah, they've got I think, Steph. I think Steph's that good. D'Lo and Looney. Yeah, I think and uh, Draymond sometimes. Yeah, and and uh, they just have a a well run organization that's yeah. been there, I, and yeah. I think that they have. It's it's not all about what you have on the floor, and I know a lot of people want to say, you know, that whoever has the best athletes on the floor wins, and I don't. I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think that I mean, Golden State drafted everybody that they have for the most. I mean, except for D'Lo, yeah. Except for except for D'Lo, which also they're going to trade D'Lo. He's a rental. No, they're just renting the guy. Yeah, they're going to yeah. keep him. No way. I think no they'll way. keep him. Don't go off what Mark doesn't... Stein said. This is not what Mark Stein. This nope. is he's nope. staying. I didn't didn't read it. They're going to make it work. They're going <laughs> to make it work. Didn't read it from Mark don't Stein. Don't you spit? Don't you speak that but, in here? I I don't feel like. I mean, it could work. Maybe who knows? They come out. Mesh super well. You never know with Steve Curry. He's capable of anything. Yep. He can make if he can make Boogie Cousins work, he Boogie can make anything. K D. We all thought, oh, they're not they're gonna take a year for the chemistry. Like, they mesh because Steph helps it mesh. He's gonna help D Lo. He's gonna get him open. He's gonna get some open looks. Like I know that well, they're gonna be like, Well, D Lo runs the hot pick and roll, it's an ISO game. Like, no, like they're gonna run their offense. D Lo knows how to come off screens and take shots. Like you're gonna be fine. Right. He's gonna get more open looks now, especially when Clay comes back. Yeah. Like that dude's gonna get so many open looks. He's not gonna have to shoot it from forty feet out. He can, right. Right. but he doesn't have to. Um, and I don't. I think a close second with everything L A has done to their roster. I think. Uh, I think the light, the Lakers are a close second. See, I think the Lakers are the best team right now in the West. And how ironic is that? Yeah, because you have a Golden State Warriors tattoo, and I have a, a Los well, Angeles Lakers, Lakers tattoo. tattoo right in the back middle. That tramp stamp. <laughs> Can I see that tramp stamp? Sure, uh, just said it. it's a term. It's, it's not a term. negative. It's a term. It's a term. So yeah, I uh, I'm a, I'm a Warriors fan. I think that the Warriors are the underdogs at this point. I definitely don't think they're ranked first. I think I heard was it somebody was. Somebody was calling out. What is it, Jake Williams? I don't know. Anytime, somebody was saying. Anytime you have a dude that can drop sixty 
weekly, you you have a chance. Well, who is that? You've got Steph, literally Steph. two on the Lakers. You've got that's a great point. You've got it's two, a great point. Two of the top five guys in the league on the same yeah. team. No, that's a great point. And after point. Kawhi goes, three of the top five. If you said, Kawhi's give me the five best players in the league out of four hundred plus players, three of them. Well, three two right now. Three after Kawhi goes. Three of the top five players. Sixty percent no. of the five You're best players in the league are on the same team. You talking about Looney? No, <laughs> Looney's still grimacing at his shoulder. <laughs> ah, dude, that dude's—he's tough. I like Looney. Um, that was a good—that was a good price they got him for. I like Looney. He, I like Looney a lot. He got hit so well in the playoffs. He's little. He's fast enough. Good on defense. Tall. No, Dudley. <laughs> Oh I no, I don't like make... Dudley. He's 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 a that was a dang by the way. I don't use swear words. You you can hit the uh, the backwards button. Yeah, just they call it. it the backwards button because you're on a Zoom, a Microsoft <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> hit your backwards button real hit quick your on the backwards v- button because I'm a fourth <laughs> grader. That's a VCR winding up. Oh my gosh! I don't I don't use the profanity. Here's the deal. The Brook. I'm switching over back okay. to the East. Yeah, Brooklyn Nets. Katie, going to partner up with Kyrie, you're going into Russell Westbrook 2.0. That's what you're going to. You're going to a a Russell Westbrook who can shoot a little better and doesn't scream every time he makes a layup. Ball-centric. Yeah, like ball-centric, ISO, hero ball, very, like, in his own head, not good with the media. Like, you've got Westbrook 2.0. Yeah, that's true. And that's what you're doing. That's true. I just don't. I think I, I, I would probably rather have Kyrie than Westbrook. Man, they are. Very I mean, I similar. would because Westbrook can't get out of the that. first round. Well, also, I feel like Kyrie's a little better shooter too. He's a lot of better shooter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a lot better. Okay, Celtics. How they better or worse? Uh, the Celtics have Brad Stevens, and I know, I know everybody. Uh, that that's another thing that that I guess I'm thinking of is he really knows how to piece together. He really understands what the game of basketball is in in current NBA culture. Mm-hmm. And I think that I don't think they're done yet. I think that they're they're still gonna move some pieces around. Yeah. And um I think that the East is in a spot where it's anybody's to to win really. I think it's up for the taking. And I I don't see the Celtics are they're they're a lot like the Warriors in the sense that they're they're super well run. They draft well. They except for that. I remember they just hoarded all those picks. Who oh, the, Celtics? the Celtics? Yeah, they didn't yeah. trade. Well, they did. They tossed a couple out with the. Uh, I think it was didn't they get uh, didn't they with Cleveland the, get one with the with the Kyrie trade? Didn't they get like it was they to, No, they tossed they tossed some with the uh, with the Hayward. Yeah, the Hayward deal. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, no, Hayward Hayward signed free agent. Who was, was it they? Who was it they gave the picks to? I think they've still they kept a lot. Now they here's the deal: they drafted a dude. I think he was in the lottery last year. He was the dude that was like late for like two different events, and then he That's got hurt. That's what I'm. Thinking and I'm like, where is that guy yeah. now? Um, it's like it's so crazy yeah. to me that these these lottery picks just disappear. Dude. It's so crazy. Um, or these you, number one draft picks, Mark Elfold. Can you imagine? I have like Mark somebody, jersey shirt, by the way, just yes, in case. Yes. Just in case. Where's he at? He he's is still, in Magic still, I think, but he's okay. not playing. Um, they have no idea on his timeline. The Thunder. We were talking about Westbrook earlier. Yeah, they've done they, some really good moves. They in soft have. Season. Are you sarcastic? Because no, they've no, done no, no, nothing. No. no, they're literally just trying to get rid of Stephen Adams they, and Schroeder to they save money. Picked up New Orleans Noel. They re-picked him up. They have Paul George still there and didn't change. They have You're not selling me right now. I don't like Westbrook. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I like him, but I don't think he's gonna win championships. He's got to learn how to pass, man. He's got to learn. He's the most assist in the league, Tyler. Does he? I don't know, but his Probably assist. Not. I call him selfish assist. I get criticized for it. How can you be selfish to give an assist? Like there are people that give donations to Salvation Army and look around to see if he's taking a picture. That's probably that's what he true. does. Yeah, like he does it, and then he's swiping the dollar on his way back out of Walmart. Yeah, when they're not looking, like Westbrook. He he gets assists, but it's not like he's not stirring up an offense. Watch him when he's not involved in the play, he's standing there with his hand on his hip, watching. I just whenever I see Westbrook, I think of that one. He's almost like Eminem. Like Eminem is an excellent rapper, but he has one gear. It's yeah, just angry. 
I heard him on a song with um, Who's that with? Oh, with Logic. Him and yeah. Logic had a song. The music video was kind of funny because they like got a body double. I watched it. Yeah. I sent you the I screenshot. It. I was watching it. Did you? Yeah. yeah you did. I did. Okay. I was in St. Louis. Sent you a screenshot on my iPad. Not working. St. Louis, fix your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Get a not NBA great, team. Bob. Oh my goodness. Harrison Barnes sign of Sacramento Kings. I'd say that's the biggest sign that they got. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Uh, Knicks, they're not making the playoffs next year. Um, let's see. Patrick Beverly staying with the Clips. Who else we got? They Magic did some stuff. Doesn't matter. They're losing in the first round if they get there. Mm. Rui of the Suns. That'll be his best last two years of his I career. I kind of sneaky like the Magic. I like the Magic, too. Oh, they signed some, a couple, few people. No, I mean... Like, like as a team? Yeah. Pacers made some big moves too. Pacers did. When they, they get did. Victor Oladipo back, they're going to They got really Oladipo good. back. They got some solid mid-range guys. They got Jeremy Lamb, who was decent. Dude, I can't. Had a half can't, court shot. I can't pick the West right now. I can't do it. I'll tell you, the Lakers. Two no, of no, the top I mean, five players in the league. I mean the eight the eight teams in the West right now. I can't. Name the top eight that make the playoffs. Oh, I can name them in order right now, ranked. Like it's not now. I think the Warriors are going to do well in the playoffs. I think okay. they're going to be in a like fifth seed or something because okay. I think Steph's going to be able to go off. I think he's going to make it work with D'Angelo Russell. I think that when Clay comes back, he's going to make it work. Looney did a good job. Draymond's got something to prove. He's in a contract year, so Draymond's not going to wait till the last month of the season <laughs> to lose weight and be good at to the refs. So I think that that they're going to and I think they're going to end fourth or fifth. Okay, um, I think the Lakers. Are the best. I don't know if they're going to push. I think they're going to lose load management so that they're all healthy because okay, you know they got LeBron, they're going to have LeBron, they're going to have uh, Kawhi, and they're going to have AD. So they're going to do load management. And I know that's okay. in their pitch to Kawhi because he said I could play this year in the finals because you know one Zaza I didn't stick his foot out on accident and right. hurt my ankle, but also he had load management. So you rotate those three dudes, you could still win every game with just two of the three. And okay. so I think that the Lakers. Are the best team in the West? I think uh, Utah and Denver. I think Denver is going to be second because you know they're a good regular season team and they're going to get better. They're a young team, so Denver didn't lose anything besides IT four, um, and they're going to get that one dude back. Oh, uh, it's Michael Porter Jr. The one that sat out, got that the back issue, had surgery, Carter sat out Williams? the whole year. Michael Carter Williams was that him? No, this dude. He, they got draft. They drafted him in the top twelve or fifteen. He was going to go top two or three, but he had some back issues, and he sat out the year. Um, and then uh, then they've got Bull Ball, who will come in, and I think he'll be surprisingly decent. You're talking about Denver. Yes. I think Denver's a top three team. So Lakers, Denver, Utah, those three are going to be great. They're going to be your top okay. three. Um, I'm trying to think, who am I not thinking of? The Warriors, I think, will be about fourth or fifth because I, I think they're projected at like eighth. But I think they're going to do well just because their championship mentality and Steph is just I, – I love Steph, and he's great, and he's going to do great. And so – Got him. Uh, I think the Thunder will get there in the loose first round because they got Westbrook on their team, and then Paul George is going to demand a trade. He's like, why did I not go to the Lakers now that they have all these beautiful top five guys in the league? And so um, – Okay. I'm trying to think of other teams in the West. Uh, Spurs, they're going to make the playoffs. Uh, Are they? I mean, yeah, they'll be eight. Okay, so that's – I'm going to go through it again. You said Lakers, Lakers. Warriors, Nuggets – Yep, and then uh, Trailblazers are going to get fourth or fifth. Them and them and the Warriors will be about equal. Thunder they'll they'll end seventh or six seventh. So Thunder is five is yep. what I have. Wait, you said Trailblazers? Yeah, they're going to be fourth or fifth. I think them or the six. Warriors are going to be fourth or fifth. Okay, and then I think Spurs will be eighth. They're going to squeak in there. I think the Kings will get in there. Well, well, there's only eight spots. Well, I've only said eight, right? The Clippers aren't making it. Clippers. That's aren't what I'm saying. It. You're gonna. So I'm you're saying the Clippers aren't going to make it. You're going to leave out the Jazz? No, I said Utah. I said they're second. Second Utah. Yeah. You think they'll be a second seed? Yes. No, second oh, or third. Boy. I think they'll be third. Denver's second. So I'm going to tell them in order. Give okay. me this. Give me your phone. Yep. Okay, here they are. First, this is the end of the regular season. Okay. Okay, Lakers are going to be first. Yep. All right. Then we're going to say Nuggets. Oh shoot! I forgot about the Rockets. That's, That's what I'm saying. About. That's what I'm okay. saying. All right. Well, I'm, I'm still. I'm good. I've got this. Okay. okay. I'm. I'm ready. I feel it. Okay. So first are Lakers, then the Nuggets. Third are going to be the Jazz. I would say fourth are going to be. I think the Warriors. I just believe instead. Fourth are the Warriors. Fifth 
are going to be the uh, the Trailblazers, six of the Rockets, seventh, I think, I think seventh are going to be the, I already said the Rockets, seventh they're going to be the Kings, and then I'm going to go with Pelicans, I'm going to make the playoffs. I'm feeling it. You, so I feel it on the Pelicans. You're leaving the Clippers out then. Yeah, Clippers aren't making the playoffs. I mean, okay. what do they do? They're not a young team. They're You're also leaving the Mavs out. The Maverick? Oh, if Porzingis comes back. Porzingis. Okay. Kings are out. I'm putting in the Mavs. Okay. Sorry. Luca, he's going to do it. He's a championship. Luca. He's a championship Man, player. Really and they picked up too. uh who the Mavs pick up? Didn't they get Dragic? 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 Well, if they did, they're Gordon Dragic. Three. They're the ones who have won. No, the Mavs picked up a point guard. Who did they pick up? Boban. No, they picked up a point guard. Who was it? Oh my goodness! Somebody say it. Y'all say it. Seth Curry. Yes. Yeah, they picked yeah, up a good point. So the Mavs, Aaron, I'm pulling the Kings back out. Sorry, I felt good about them at first. But I don't. At they're all. a young team on the up. No, I don't know. Nothing with the Kings. So okay. Spurs are out. Spurs are out. And yep. uh, Kings are out. So I'm definitely in on the Pelicans getting an eighth. Eighth seed. Okay. The Pistons, you... though, they're good. They're in the East, though. Aren't so they? what about the East? You want me to tell them in order? Okay, East. Um, number one is going to be, and this is, I'm just, uh, we know the Kawhi's going to the Lakers, so I'm not going to say mm. the Raptors in there. One are 76ers. Two are the Bucks. Three are the Celtics. Fourth are the Pacers. Fifth are the Pistons. Um, uh, Jimmy Butler ain't gonna make it. Um, <laughs> it's his team, man. Yeah, I know. Then let's we'll stick the Raptors in there, just because they're a well-run organization. So it's six. Uh, Nets will be seventh. I think the Magic will squeak in at eighth. That's mine. Wow. Yeah, man. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm glad we did that. Yeah, man. I'm glad we went through that. So should we? Should we do one? Final segment here? Yeah, or... I think there's only time for one, and we all know what it is. We all know what it is. This is here NBA. It is. Welcome to NBA Fight Club. Welcome to NBA, NBA Fight, Fight Club. Club. Okay, so, Tyler, I'm going to let you go first since I just went through and named off the top 16 teams in the league. Um, you're going to start it off. You've got, okay, you ever seen the movie uh, Ready to Rumble? It's got uh, Sean William Scott and David Arquette in it. Yes. And yes. Unfortunately, they, just, they yeah, build uh, this big cage. Right. And they just drop in and they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Doing all of it. In all great the, shape. In great shape. Good job, David Arquette. Not looking yeah. like that anymore. Nope. He did better with Courtney Cox yep. Arquette. And um, drop in every free agent. Okay. All they're wearing, all they have, weapons, all that. It's just I've got my new team's jersey on. If you don't have a team yet, like Kawhi, he's wearing it just a tank, okay. just a casual yeah. tank. Yeah, like maybe the, an airbrush um, tee. Yeah, like the Clay Thompson when he's he's doing drinking his chocolate milk, milk. drinking the chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, he can't like promote. He can't promote the Warriors, so it's just like the yeah. race. Him and Al Horford, the best chocolate milk drinkers, definitely drink before a game. Um, do you know the Clay's, Clay's pregame reads, ritual is in reading the newspaper? Yeah. Yeah, they put it on those shoes. Those I love that. Panta shoes, that's great. Yeah, Clay's a, he's the, like a weird dude, but he's a good weird he dude. He was a free agent, right? Yeah, not for long. What's all just, we knew he was going to the Warriors. I, I don't, that I don't see him as a scrapper though. What? I okay, don't... here we go. Now, remember, we're dropping him in right now. So Clay just had surgery yesterday on his AC. Okay, yeah. So he's, okay. he's Katie's probably just chilling in a out. boot. Okay? Katie's he's still up. strapped up taking another Instagram pic in the hospital bed. Alright? <laughs> but they're in. Why do that, man? Let's, let's call a timeout. I don't know. You love KD. Why? Why? He just wanted to show that like, look what, look how, he wanted to show, it's a before and after pic. Okay. Nobody's like, oh, I need to work out before I do my before pick before I go on my diet. No, you you eat a whole thing of Little Caesars pizza. Dude, he looked like a sad kid. Well, in that before and after. Thing. He's going to come back and show how far he's come. Okay? <laughs> I was at top of the world, bashed down, and I'm so, going to bring it back because he's redoing his name. So fat people that are planning on losing weight, they should just post a picture of themselves? Absolutely. Before it's just and after. In the hospital bed with the IV <laughs> hooked up. Get your Achilles okay. repaired and okay. lose weight. We're going to go back to NBA, NBA Fight, Fight Club. Club. Okay, sorry. Tyler, you go first. Everyone's dropped in. Who wins? <sighs> Kawhi wins. Oh, I knew it. That was my pick, too. Kawhi wins because um, his traps look like a, a staircase wait, at Hogwarts. Bo- Boogie's not a free agent, is he? Yes, he is. Boogie's my pick. 
Okay. This is, this is the most fascinating part about NBA free agency to me is that they're all professional athletes. Yeah. That means they can move. Yeah. Well, like, he can't. You saw the finals. He can't, really. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Um, the other thing, though, like, when you see Kawhi run back down the court, he looks a little stiff, like a little blocky. Like, yeah. Very um, compartmentalized. Yeah, well, he's got an amazing center of gravity. That's true. Yeah. His hips He are never just, falls down. He knocked down Bogut and he did. Draymond, Draymond in the air. Yeah, that's changing my mind right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm still going quiet. I'm, I've not seen anybody. I think Cantor, he's going to come in big and get popped real quick. Boo! Forgot about Bobby Portis. He is a known fighter. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's got a little edge on his shoulder, yeah, too. Yeah, he got them eyes, too. We're going to get somebody. Get him crazy. Uh, who, what's our other options? Um, George Hill. I know he's a big pick. Oh, he would... Yeah. Yeah, he would do well. Patrick Beverly? Throw him out there. Okay, hold on. Hold He'd be a solid on, scrapper. How did we not start NBA Fight Club, Battle Royale, okay. NBA Free Agency with Patrick Beverly? I mean, he, he wants is. to fight every. He does. He tries to get them to fight him and get kicked out. He is LeBron. Like, I'm going to lose this series if I don't get Draymond out. So I get Draymond out. Julius Randle's in there too. Don't forget about oh, him. Gosh. this Kawhi's not my pick anymore, man. Okay, keep going. Who's your pick? I mean, he's super athletic, and I want him to be a Laker more oh, than I want. What about Christophe Porzingis? <laughs> he's not winning. He's like 25 pounds. <laughs> he's, he's not winning. winning. He's Plus, like... he's super nice. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, well, he seems like a sweet Oh, except for he was actually just in a fight. Yeah. So, maybe Jimmy not. Butler? Man, you, know, right you know I got money on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, he tried to fight the entire Timberwolves team. That's true. It was that the best game of zones ever. Yes. Whenever he was just like 100%. destroying them. 100%. That was so good. That's the best one. Um, Anthony Davis wouldn't do well. He wasn't a free agent. No, he wasn't. Um, That's why I would. I wanted to say he was the best pickup, but it, I say that, and I think I, st- I think he was the best pickup. I think the Pelicans got the better end of the deal because they got the future. They got the next decade. Dude, they're going to be... They're gonna and they've be got so all the good. Lakers picks for like the next five years. They're going to be so good, man. Yeah. For, um, yeah. So, who's your pick? Go. Five, Dude. four, three, two. I think it's Patrick Beverly. Okay, I think Kawhi. There's a, sto- there's a story I read where he there's these two journalists on, it, this was like a regular playoff game, and he, they're the only two people in the gym, and Patrick Beverly walks up behind them, and people start to come in, they start shooting around and stuff, like the teams are in. Fans are in the building. He's still standing behind them, and he starts like, like, um, like moving his feet. Like, like uh, there's a boxer that used to do this. He does his feet like a bull, almost yeah. like, like, like he's ready to go ahead and tell you that boxer didn't win a lot of matches because well, he's sitting there acting like a bull in the ring. He gonna I get think knocked it was out. Tyson, but no. um, <laughs> Tyson just walks up and punches him. He does. I saw like Tyson's in. punch out. Can we? Yeah, play it? I've got it on Sega upstairs. Yes. Um, he does that, and then he, these two journalists turn around, and they go, uh, can we help you or something? He just says, get the bleep out of the way. Oh, wow. And he's stood there for like 15 minutes. So he's just, he's got the crazy. Yeah. I saw, I love how he got in Alonzo's head that one time, you know, where he fouled oh, him right man. past half court, and then he kind of pushed him back, because Lonzo's not thinking, he's thinking, this dude is crazy. Right. He gets a backcourt call. He yeah. did that just to get in Alonzo's head. Like, right. He's smart. Yeah. He, I, I would say he's going to be the one of the last three in. Yeah. He's going to be one of the last three left. It's going to be like him, Jimmy Butler, and Kawhi. I think Kawhi wins. Like, legit. I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Kawhi's shoulders and traps look like a staircase at Hogwarts. It is <laughs> insane. How like He looks like – he doesn't look like he works out at CrossFit. He looks like a CrossFit that That's people true. are swing pull-upping on. <laughs> Like, he is insane, and he just stands Draymond there. Did. Draymond tried to do a pull-up on him. Yeah, and he just went and said, no, I'm just going to make this. I saw. I was uh, I was working out today, and I saw the TV, and they had ESPN Hello. on there. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up? We're working out. Well, it's my first day. Um, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, it was. Um, it was. I was just doing my lunges. Your boy's just doing his lunges, Tyler. 
Um, so <laughs> why did that? And so where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Jersey. I'm up there with Kyrie. We're looking like a good. It's gonna be a good year. Celtics was a bad situation for him, Tyler. I know my friend Kyrie. He lived down on Brussels. Uh huh. Yeah, Brussels is a different <laughs> country, isn't it? I'm terrible. Okay. So uh, um, I'm from Trenton. You're from Trenton, New Jersey. I'm not from Philly. Trenton over there. Okay? Yeah, over there. <laughs> Oh, that is a wise guy over from here. From Mount Laurel, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. I would stay at the Radisson. I can't even understand this guy. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm not even... Terrible. Not, it's not even an accent. I sound like a broken toy that you dropped in water. <laughs> Hello? This is my accent? I'm from the town? I'm sorry. I'm the worst. <laughs> what was I saying? Why would we win NBA Fight Club? I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Ah. Uh. Well, I would in, in my opinion. Do you think club. Patrick Beverly? I mean, I think definitely Patrick Beverly got like the homegrown Wolverine. He seems like the kind of guy that would know it's coming before it's announced. I just and grow his fingernails. I feel like he's one of those dudes that's like, after he reached twenty one, he was like, "Hey, I'm just living on extra time. So yeah. no matter what happens, I'm here. I'm living I'm, it up. He's I'm, got like thirty mil now, right? Then they sign him for three years. Yeah, mil? yeah. He's a max dude. Yeah. I met his. Uh, dude. I met his son. Did you? At a PD. Yeah, How about his that? Kids, oh, uh, yeah. His kid's mom was at PTO or something. The kid was there. He was shooting balls. I was like, hey, what's up? He's a nice kid. He's not going to be as good, is he? I mean, I'll bet he will. He'll be as he good as he wants to be. As you work hard, you can achieve anything you want, oh. Taylor Jacks. Because <laughs> you're the only, the only one, listening. one listening at this point. <laughs> Charlotte's turned us off. My mom doesn't know what a podcast <laughs> is. Literally, you can listen to this podcast by holding your phone. Or go just go, hey, Siri, play the NBA is Cool podcast. Mom can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. Um, so, but well, you can you at can. home, and you know if you've ever listened to the NBA podcast, you know that we end podcast by saying like and subscribe. Like That's and one subscribe. thing. Yeah, we do. say those things. If you could go in and rate us in iTunes, it's five stars. super helpful. Yeah. If you're not gonna rate five stars, don't do it. Don't like. We don't need your honest opinion. We just want. We the want five your stars. fake ones. We want your fake opinions. Yeah. We want. This is like whenever people go in and like. Hey, an author is like, hey, I've got my pre-sale of my book. If you can go rate it. And they're like, we haven't read it, but we like you, so we'll definitely give it five stars. Definitely. And he's got like 200 five-star ratings and right. he hasn't even released yet. And the author is on his personal computer making burner Making accounts. all these Amazon accounts. <laughs> so thank you guys. Please give us five stars. This is an NBA School podcast. We'd love to know in, their, in iTunes, after you rate it five stars, we just we don't want you to say a word about anything else. Don't explain it. This is just for VIP insiders. Right. Put the name of the free agent you think would win in NBA yeah. Fight Club. That's what I care about. That's me too. That's all I care about. That's all I've got left. Man. That's good stuff, Tyler. Yes, good. Thank you, Tyler. Good stuff, Tyler. To you too. That's good. All right, guys. Well, this is Tyler. Also, Tyler. And we're signing off for. I would say this is our best audio. Well, we're in the studio. We've done. We're yeah. in the studio. We're gonna chop this one up. A little lengthy. No, I'm definitely just re- uploading it. It's going on. straight. I'll, I'll probably put intro outro music, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll get crazy with it. See ya. Bye.